What's up YouTube? You're with Got That Funk and this is a video response to someone called Fire Charger who's a Christian fellow that I recently subscribed to when I was looking for channels that discussed the end of the world. Hello Fire Charger, my name is Paul, GTF, Got That Funk. I don't really mind how you address me. I want to stress to you going into this that I am not in any way intending to mock you or your beliefs and I am not in any way trying to be antagonistic here with this video. But I am curious to pick your brain. And whilst I'm not intending to mock you, you will have to forgive me a little bit because I find any belief in the end of the world really hard to swallow. And I find talk of the rapture really hard to swallow as well. But I am willing to find out what people who think like you have to say about it. And I chose your channel because you come across as a relatively friendly person and I'm hopeful that we can have an actual discussion as opposed to an argument. So. Um, with all that out there in front, let me just ask you a few questions and I would hope to get a video response off you, but if you prefer to answer me in a private message or in the comment section, that's fine too. I'm curious, uh, you've got a lot of videos on your channel talking about uh, signs and portents for the coming tribulations and or rapture. And uh, I've got uh, several questions about it, so let me just start off with the rapture. People who believe in the rapture, do you believe that the Christians who are true believers all over the world are just going to seriously magically vanish like one minute they're there and then poof they're gone leaving behind empty cars and clothes and whatever else um, you know Christian pilots and airplanes will disappear and the whole airplane will crash that kind of thing um, or is it more likely that uh, you think that when there will come a day that everyone will just go to bed and the true believers will never wake up and they'll just be taken up with God and all the people who aren't true Christians will wake up and then face tribulations. Oh, that's another question I had. Uh, do you believe that the rapture, if it happens at all, is supposed to happen before the tribulations, during the tribulations, or after the tribulations? Because I believe that the um, revelation of St. John talks about seven years of tribulation you know, famine, pestilence, death, war, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and I'm curious, do you think that the rapture is supposed to save the true believers from having to experience the tribulations? Or are the tribulations supposed to be some of the signs to let Christians know that the end, that the rapture is coming? I, I really don't know. I don't understand. Uh, and I would love a straightforward, simple explanation if that's possible. Okay. Uh, another question I had for you and for anybody else who believes in the rapture and so on. If you really believe, I mean, you've got a lot of videos talking about the end of the world and you seem to think that it's imminent. And by imminent, I mean in the next year or two. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos on your channel which tend to indicate to me that you really believe that this is coming in the next sort of 18 months or so. Well, if that's the case, if that's truly your belief, I've got a question for you, um, a personal question really, but still a legitimate, honest question. If you believe you've only got a year to 18 months to live life as we know it on this planet, why are you still working for the man? Why are you still going to work and paying your bills and living life as if it's not going to happen? That's what I want to know. Because uh, I know I'm not you, but I can tell you that if I was given 18 months to live, I would probably jack my job in as soon as possible. I would liquidate all of my assets so that I had some money underneath me, and then I would spend the rest of my time traveling the world to see the things that I always wanted to see but never gave myself permission to go and see. And I would also make a point of, you know, seeking out everybody that I cared about and making sure that they had one last hug off of me before they could never have another hug off me again because I was going to get raptured away. Now that's just me. I recognize that, but I'm curious if you really believe that you've only got a year and a half or so uh, before the end, why are you still working for the man and, you know, going through the motions of a normal life? If the world's about to end, shouldn't you be you know, taking stock and really, you know, sort of smelling the roses as it were. I'm not sure I understand and I would like to. So if you could explain that to me, I'd be grateful. 
Um, right, last but not least, it does really come across when I watch your videos that um, this rapture that you seem to think is imminent is something that you look forward to. Now, I know that, uh, you, you know, it's, um, it's something that you look forward to for the sake of Christians and Christianity and so forth and God's plan and whatever. But I'm curious as to how you reconcile inside your heart, inside yourself, the knowledge that there's going to be some five or six billion people left behind. How do you sleep at night with that kind of knowledge? Um, and I know for your part, you know, you do what you can to sort of spread the word, to make people aware, you know, that they need to wake up, as it were, and uh, find Christ. I get that. But it must really suck, honestly, thinking that most of the world is doomed. And I'm really curious how you reconcile that. How do you go through your life with that burden of weight, of that knowledge? It would consume me. And I'm curious how you manage to rise above it. So um, I hope I get a video response off you. But if not, that's cool, too. You know, we're all busy, and I understand that. Um, so, oh, oh, one more, one final thing. I know I said that before, but this is definitely the final thing. Um, I saw a video of yours the other day talking about Comet Elenin and its uh, approach toward the sun and as it nears the earth and whatever. And you were concerned that it might have caused or uh, whatever the earthquakes in Japan, Chile, and um, New Zealand, I believe. And I just want to assure you that a comet, which is two, two and a half miles across, and tens of millions of miles away from the Earth can affect no appreciational, appreciative um, gravitational influence on a planet this size. You know, it's a tiny little rock in space, basically, compared to the Earth. And even when it is at its closest point to the Earth, which will be in October, uh, it's still going to be 21 million miles away. So I don't think we've got anything to worry about in terms of the effects that that... Uh, rock will have as it goes around the sun and um, I hope that you take that seriously because that's just you know scientific fact <laughs> anyway this has got that funk I want to thank you all for watching and fire charger I hope I hear from you soon peace